how's it going guys it is lamb chops 99 here bring you hut roulette episode number 21 and right now we are on a six game losing or not losing streak winning streak and uh you're doing pretty well i mean so far uh, i did the hut roulette trading block hopefully you guys send in trades for that uh but right now the team is pretty much golden uh to what i like at least i mean it's really performing very well and any player from now on it's going to be pretty high end that i'm going to put into the trade block uh, but basically, we are on a six-game winning streak. We picked up Winchester. Um, who else did we pick up? We didn't pick up... Oh, uh, we picked up Dan Girardi. That's it. Uh, but uh, Winchester was definitely not a good pickup for last uh, episode. But hopefully, we can get another uh, good pickup for this episode. Well, if we win another one, we will be at uh, seven in a row. So we get to put that buy now minimum to 7K, hopefully. And yeah, so let's get right into the game. Oh my god, he gets a slapper from the point from Coburn. Uh, but uh, we are down one nothing very early in the game, which is not good at all. Uh, but he doesn't have a good team. I mean, uh, Bronson and Jamie Benn on his first line. And he just gets a slapper. That was a bad defending. But uh, this is a, this is the international ice. It feels a little bit different playing on because uh, he's got a lot, a lot more room to actually do stuff. So I actually have to tighten up defensively and uh, play a good game. Oh, but I get a goal right back. It is now 1-1. One one. Hopefully, I can get a couple more goals here. Uh, I just scored, like, right back-to-back -back almost. Uh, right after I ended that segment. But, uh, hopefully, we can get a couple more goals here. Keep out, keep him out on the outside. There we go. We get a goal with Thomas Vanek. Oh, what, what a celebration right outside the blue line. But, uh, we just t stuck at 5 hole. I don't want to see the replay on that. I want to see how I scored that goal. Not sure if I got it 5 hole. Uh, but my guy just protected the puck and then just, yep, 5-hole. Just got Lennon to get off his post and then we shoved it 5-hole. But uh, right now it's 2-1 to one now in the first. Hopefully we can get another one. Oh, we get another goal with Ryan Getzlap. Just snipes it top right. Uh, there's only one minute left in the period, but I think we've taken control of the game. I don't think he knows how to play against my playing style. Uh, but... Uh, I just had to get used to the large international arena, and now uh, I think I'm able to score some goals. So anyways, let's keep it going here. Uh, hopefully not give up any more goals. Oh my god, what a snipe by Marion Hosa. Just right over Backstrom's, uh, I think, uh, blocker. So it is now 4-1 to one, right from Patrice Bergeron. I love this first line. Um, but yeah, we're, we're unloading the pressure on him. He doesn't really know what to do. Uh, but I think I got this game in the bag. There we go. We got another goal with Patrice Bergeron. I'll oh, get out of my way. I'm celebrating. Uh, but now it's 5-1. Making this game really out of reach now. And uh, yeah, we just got to keep it going. Alright guys, we won the game. 5-2, um, 800 pucks. So we did score a couple. And, but we did keep him out on the outside. So right now we got 17 shots. And we got to put that by now. Uh... By now minimum to I think 7k 7k or 6k um, uh, let me just I can't think about it I can't think um, I think I, it's 6k I think I'm on a six game winning streak uh, just give me a sec guys I want to be 100% sure let me just check all right sorry about that guys uh, I just checked the video again and we are on a seven game winning streak so we got to put that buy now minimum to 7k I thought it was a little bit weird that uh, I had like a buy now minimum of 7k so we're going to choose the 17th player. So there's 10. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh my god. That is a pretty good pick of Ryan Kessler for our team. That is not bad at all. So we get a finally... get a, We got a pretty good centerman for, uh, for our Hut Roulette team. Someone better than all the other players that we picked up in the last... I don't know how many episodes. But uh, Ryan Kessler, definitely not bad. He can definitely be somewhere on the team. So we're going to have to figure out where we're going to put him. And then uh, we'll put someone else into the trade pile. Alright guys, so I did decide where I was going to put Kessler. And I put him on the third line. I know it's kind of weird that he's on the third line because he's actually a really good player. But uh, because Ryan Getzlaff's there, I mean, I think Ryan Getzlaff is a bit better than uh, Kessler. And Bergeron's better than Kessler. He'll be on the third line. I do like Kessler's face-off, so he will be in the third line for now. And we took a Ryan Nugent Hopkins, so I moved down Stahl to the fourth line. So Nugent Hopkins will be on the trade block for next time. So uh, we're going to start up a game here. 
And uh, yeah, hopefully we can continue this win streak because it's pretty awesome right now. All right, guys. So we are facing a guy named Stop Crying. So he's got the Buffalo logo. And uh, we, if we win another one, we will be on an eight-game winning streak. Wow, he's got 77 goals with Duchesne in 215 games. That's pretty good, uh, statistic-wise at least. So let's get right into game. Yep, uh, my uh, strategies look pretty good. He's got Bergeron. I'm not sure who else. I didn't really check. But hopefully we can get another win here and uh, maybe get another winning streak here going. Oh my god, there we go. We get a goal with Andre Markov. So we get one very early in the game, but this guy does seem pretty aggressive. Uh, I feel like if I do mess up on one thing, he will know how to score. So I have to get another goal here. I'm a little bit shaking because eight game winning streak, I do not want to lose that at all. There's a nice spinorama there, but uh, come on, get the puck off him. Oh my god, my guy gets owned. But let's keep going here. Oh my god, right when I said that, uh, Jordan Stahl scores a goal for us. So that makes it 2 nothing. So uh, he was a little bit aggressive with Myers. And unfortunately for him, I do score in those. I know how to score those. So uh, it is now 2 nothing. Hopefully we can keep it up. There we go. We get a third goal with Henrik Sedin. And he does rage quit. Wow, that was a very quick game. Uh, but five, sh five shots, three goals. So this is our eighth consecutive win. That's pretty insane. So we're going to put that buy now minimum to 8k. And we're going to choose the fifth uh, fifth player. That's pretty ridiculous. Oh, right here. I'm not going to forget this time. So uh, we sell 300k. Hopefully we don't buy someone too good. Uh, but 8k and we choose the fifth player. Okay, I know. I know now. So sorry about that from before. Uh, but we're going to put this to 8,000. So that filters out a lot of people. So let's see what we get here. Hopefully someone good. Oh my god. Uh, I don't want to check it. I didn't I didn't see. I didn't see. Uh, 8k. There we go. So the fifth player. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Corey Crawford. Um, I already have... No, I actually don't have him yet. So uh, let's see what's around it. So Marlowe, Daniel Sedin, Henrik Sedin, Rene. Uh, I was very close to a Rene. Uh, Schneider, Smith, Vanek. Uh, two Vanek's and a Giroud. Uh, that would be nice to pick up a Giroud. But we do pick up a Corey Crawford. Not bad at all. Uh... I'll see where I can put him within the team. Maybe uh, he might be a new goalie that I might put into the trade block because I'm pretty happy with Jonas Hiller and uh, uh, Marc-Andre Fleury right now. I mean, by the overalls, I think that Corey Crawford's higher than Marc-Andre Fleury. Yeah, but I mean, stat-wise, I prefer uh, Marc-Andre Fleury just because he's got that quickness in case of breakaways. You know, I can rely on him. But Corey Crawford or Jonas Hiller, I like Jonas Hiller as well because he has a right-handed glove, which some of you guys don't maybe not know. Uh, so he does provide some extra goalie, like just some extra, I don't know, goalie defense in my opinion. Um, something a bit different, but I think I'm going to keep Jonas Hiller and I'll keep Corey Crawford. So these two players will go into the trade block for next time. I think 14500 is an okay price for Crawford. Uh, I, sold one from, I sold one of him at 20k at one point so uh, I think that's around his price anyways I think he's fresh uh, yep yeah, he's untouched three owners zero zero games how about Nugent Hopkins I think I played a couple games with him oh yeah I pulled him from a pack what am I saying uh, but anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed this episode we are on an eight game winning streak that is crazy for division one uh, I think we are 4-0-0 in the season one so anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, please leave it a like Thanks for all the support again, just reminded me that uh, you guys have given me so much support in my Hut Real Life videos. Every time I post one out and ask for 150 likes, I usually get it within 12 or 24 hours. So I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, the support really, really helps the series grow. And I think I'm already at 4,500 subscribers, which is also pretty crazy. I've been gaining a lot of subscribers and likes every single day. So thanks to you guys for everybody who's clicked that like button. It really helps me. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and see you guys later. Bye.